What's up, YouTube? What's up, Don Breaker? My name is Chaos, and I'm bringing you something different today. <clears throat> but before I get into that, I would just like to apologize for anyone who follows my channel on YouTube. Been away for pretty much an entire month of February, mainly due to uh, my job. <clears throat> it can sometimes get pretty stressful and make things pretty difficult. Um, and it can interfere with my personal life of things like playing video games uh, and uploading YouTube videos. Uh, but things have calmed down, so I'm going to try to get back on track with that. Uh, this is not Battlefield. If you follow my channel, you'll know that I play a lot of Battlefield and almost have been exclusively uploading Battlefield videos. And this is definitely not Battlefield. This is Smite. Believe it or not, I actually play this more than Battlefield. And for starters, it's not a broken piece of shit. No offense, Battlefield. You fixed a lot of good things, but I'm still mad about what happened. Anywho, um, this is a MOBA, just like, League of, uh, just like League of Legends. However, unlike League of Legends, this game is a lot more exciting. Why do you ask? Well, instead of having this big top-down view of the, you know, half the map, uh, and you're looking down on your character, they put the, uh, the camera in third-person mode over the shoulder of the character you're playing as. And instead of clicking around to move, it's mouse and keyboard, just like a first-person shooter. I'm doing all of this with the WSAD key, and I'm doing this with my mouse. I'm aiming my abilities with my mouse. And then I click to fire off said ability. Um... This is what makes it so much more exciting. When you have that top-down view, you almost feel like you're a commander in a strategy game. It's like chess. You know, you got the top-down view of the board, and you're kind of maneuvering your pieces into place. Uh, in the case of a MOBA, you're only moving one piece, but you're just kind of maneuvering everything in such a way to where you win. Whereas this, you're, you're down in the action. You're, you're sitting there, you're swinging your sword at the best of them. The skills are a little bit uh, uh, more challenging because you actually have to aim. You're not just clicking on a target and activating your ability and having them automatically hit said target. You are uh, having to aim everything. And because you're having to aim everything, it makes it a little bit more difficult because the enemies, uh, players, not these little dumb AIs that I'm playing, uh, they can actually dodge your ability. And that's where a lot of the skill in this game is... Uh, revolved around actually dodging uh, abilities. Uh, so there's a little bit higher skill required, you know, in the sense that you're actually aiming the abilities. Um, but it's not a, it's not overwhelming because they they did it in this kind of first person shooter type aspect with the the mouse keyboard aiming manu uh, maneuvering system. It it you, it feels natural, more natural to play than League of Legends uh, does. But it's real simple to play. You can see there's a lot of action, especially if you get involved in a big team fight. But there's more to this game, of course, than just the actual game itself. They did a lot of great things High res uh, did with this game. This is the main menu. All the news you want to see can be right here. Bologna, God of War, she's the newest god. New god skin located right there. New god skin right there. They're always showing off the newest and greatest stuff. Uh, as well. If you want to view your profile, well, it's called profile. It's not called anything weird. It's just profile. You can look at your stats, uh, how you rank with your gods, your match history, what you would normally expect to find on a profile. Here's the big old list of gods to choose from. These are all mythological gods. There's Vulcan, Roman god of, let's see, fire, I believe. Um, Smith of the gods is what it is. Uh, Thanatos. He was the god who actually went and got the souls of the dead. Um, Thor. If you don't know who Thor is, just turn off your computer now. Please, do us all a favor if you don't know who Thor is. Um, and each god, as you can see, they have a lot of skins to choose from. doesn't matter who it is. Uh, and some of them are very, are very cool. Uh, god, you got to love this. America. They released this one on the 4th of July. This is Ra. Uh, the sun, uh, sun god, I believe, of uh, Egypt. Check it out. Freaking bald eagle with a firework for a wand. And he's not just called Ra. He's Ra America. Gotta love it. They, they do have a good sense of humor at high res. And they have some just pretty... They got a lot of cool gods. Um, unlike League of Legends, you could purchase all the gods for actually a fairly cheap price. League of Legends, it would cost you a lot of money. 
you can get all these gods for 30 bucks. It's free to play, but if you want to spend 30 bucks, you get all of these gods to choose from, and there's a lot of them. If you don't want to spend 30 bucks, well, just like most, uh, uh, just like League of Legends, you can purchase new gods with in game credits, and they have a free god rotation. Uh, I believe you can see, I forgot where the heck it was. But it, the, yeah, here it is. There, This is the god rotations for this week. Uh, so very nice that they offer all the gods for just 30 bucks. They also offer this under the wisdom tab You can view their live stream at any time You can see recorded matches from pro players. There's video tutorials and there's quite a few of them The god guides I love these every god in the game comes with a video So let's say you don't spend the 30 bucks and you kind of want to learn more about a certain god before you buy them well Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You click on the video and you can go learn about Ares, the god of war. You can see what his abilities are capable of. They'll tell you the best way to build him, the best items that go with him. Uh, and they'll even show you how he performs in a real life situation and, and not just tell you an ideal circumstance where he performs really well. He'll show you a circumstance that literally formed in the middle of a match and show you how, uh, how the outcome was. So I think that's great. That's one of the many things that they did right with this game. And this is why I love Smite. I'm bringing this video to you because I want to spread the word about this game. I'm so sick of the League of Legends elitists who think that it's the only MOBA in the world and it's the best MOBA in the world. Smite makes MOBAs fun. If you have played League of Legends before and you didn't like it, I beg of you, give it another try, but try it with Smite. It's so much more fun. It's a lot more action-packed. Um... And it's, I think it's kind of cool that it's it's mythological gods. You know, these are the gods that you read about in history books. Um, and it's kind of fun to get to turn around and play as those gods. But there's so many good things that High res and Smite have going for them. So please give Smite a try. Uh, for the good folks at Dawnbreaker, if you're watching this video, man, could you imagine if we could get a team going? Because they got a lot of game modes here. You got your... I'm learning phase where you play some practice matches. You got your I'm still kind of learning, but I'm starting to I want to play against other people. Lots of game modes here. Fairly casual. Most people are pretty laid back in here. You'll come across the occasional guy who's taking it pretty PTFO and wanting to do really well. But most of your PTFO folks are level 30 and they're here. This is where you're going to come across your pro teams, which, <clears throat> by the way, Dawnbreaker. If we get enough guys together, at least five, you know, we could have a, a team and we could actually start participating in uh, some league matches on Smite. <clears throat> cough, cough, hint, hint. <clears throat> um, but it's a very simple interface compared to League of Legends. It's a lot of fun, and I really hope this video catches somebody's eyes. I hope this video helps you, brings you into the good world that is Smite. But I've rambled on long enough. Hopefully this video gave you some insight. I'm always available for questions. You can find me. Uh, of course, you can message me via YouTube. I'm also on Twitter. Um, for the folks at Dawnbreaker, you'll see me harassing Snoob on Twitter and via Twitch all the time. So feel free to bump in. Ask me a question uh, about this game. I'll be more than happy to answer it. Because like I said, the whole reason I'm making the video is I want to bring awareness to Smite. It's still a MOBA. And, and you know, unlike League of Legends, which is uh, your basic chess game, Smite's more like, it's more like Wizard's Chess. It's the same game in principle, but a hell of a lot more exciting to watch. Uh, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, please like and subscribe. Check out Dawnbreaker if you don't know what that is. I've been talking about it in this video. Go check that out. I'll have a link in the video description below. Uh, also, if you like Dawnbreaker, I'll post a link to their Patreon um, where you can donate money and help be a part of a growing community of gamers who love to be goofy, love to have fun, and just love games in general without all the drama and bullshit that you sometimes find with the certain gamers and certain channels. Um, but anyways, all that will be in the video description. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you on the battlefield.